In other news, the word legendary is thrown around an awful lot, but it is the best way to describe the life and career of journalist Morley Safer. A mainstay on CBS's 60 Minutes for nearly five decades, the 84-year-old died Thursday, just a few days after his retirement. My name is Morley Safer. I'm Morley Safer. I'm Morley Safer. I'm Morley Safer. The CBS newsman with the unmistakably gravelly voice was an iconic and familiar presence on 60 Minutes for 46 years. What goes through your mind? Are these companies ashamed? What do they do down there? Admit it. You've got a temper. Leslie Stahl remembered her longtime friend and colleague on Hardball. Morley was the king of quirkiness. Uh, he was a brilliant, gorgeous writer. And here we are. His I'm writing was infused with great either. wit. Bound the body of work is extraordinary. Do they really pay me to do this? You know, I just got on From the beginning, he made a huge mark, covering the Vietnam War for the CBS Evening News. Are the American people prepared to lose more and more young men in Vietnam? His expose about American soldiers torching the huts of Vietnamese villagers. This is what the war in Vietnam is all about. Stunned American viewers at home and drew the wrath of President Lyndon Johnson. No one had seen that view of the war before. Once it was seen, it sent shockwaves that reached all the way to the White House. At 60 Minutes, he was known for his range. Is your wife here? <laughs> no, she's not. Great. <laughs> and natural curiosity. He stares down from the podium like some benevolent bird of prey. From playing cool with Jackie Gleason. Like that one, pal? <laughs> Please. Oh, yes, I think we should do this interview, both of us in the nude. <laughs> to flirting with Helen Mirren. Go on. Well, what the hell? <laughs> to asking Bernie Madoff's wife tough questions about his multi billion dollar scandal. It's really hard for people to believe that you didn't know. Safer was in declining health when he announced his retirement last week. Our 60 Minutes aired an hour-long tribute this past weekend. I really don't like being on television. It is not natural to be talking to a piece of machinery. But the money is very good. In the 1950s, he worked as a newspaper and later TV reporter in his native Canada. Then CBS hired him, and after three tours as a foreign war correspondent, Safer joined the new magazine show 60 Minutes in 1970. I'm Mike Wallace. I'm Morley Safer. He was the last member of the original team of correspondents that created a new genre of in-depth, long-form reporting. In a tweet last week when his retirement was announced, Safer said, it's been a wonderful run, and I want to thank the millions of people who've been loyal to our 60 Minutes broadcast. Thank you. Social media has been very active with all kinds of tweets from people who were fans and admirer. I think we were all yes. in the admirer category. Tom Brokaw, by the way, tweeted, said, saw old friend Morley last week. He was frail, but we had laughs and wonderful memories. He brought style to his craft and life. God bless him. So much personality yeah. and just will be missed. Absolutely. Something that will never be the same. Yeah. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.